Pastor Randall here, wanting to take a few moments to connect with you about Wilmot Center Church's response to the COVID-19 virus situation. As you know, the virus continues to spread, and over the last two days, we've witnessed the closing of schools and postponing of sports leagues and church services. Even cities and entire countries have closed their borders. We're committed to not overreacting or getting caught up with fear. But we do want to respond carefully and wisely. So throughout the past week, we've been closely following the recommendations of regional and provincial health officials. Yesterday, the Ontario Chief Medical Officer recommended that gatherings of 250 people or more be postponed or cancelled. Since we typically have more than 300 people in the building on a Sunday, our Elders Board met last night by video and with prayer and input from our staff and some calls and messages from some of you, we've agreed it's prudent for us to ask you to please stay home tomorrow and join us online at 10 o'clock as we live stream our service. That way we can kind of still meet together. We're also, well this coming week is March break, so there won't be Wednesday evening ministry programs of Youth and Children's Activate. And going forward then, we'll communicate what will, what will be happening. At this point, we're suggesting that each of our life groups decide for themselves whether or not they'll meet during the week. So if you're part of a life group and you're not sure, just give your leader a call and uh, you can make that decision. To be honest, I really resisted this decision because of how much I value our gathering together in person. But that said, we recognize it's important for us to honor our leaders, including health officials, and most all other churches our size and larger have already made the same decision. We care deeply about you and the larger community of Wilmot Township and beyond. So we want to be cautious, especially for those who are more vulnerable to a virus like COVID-19. So you'll be able to find us at www dot wilmot center dot church www dot wilmot center dot church and on the home page near the top on the left hand side you'll see a button labeled watch live sundays 10 a.m if you press that you'll be taken to the live stream one of our worship teams will lead us in a time of worship and music and we'll hear from pastor james park as he speaks on what is a very timely message now who's the boss of your faith James will actually be speaking from off-site as a precaution because he just returned last night from some time in the U.S. In all likelihood, we'll be asking you to do the same thing for at least the remainder of the month of March. And believe me, this is not what we want to do, but we do thank the Lord that we can use technology this way, and we'll be closely following further directions from health officials. Please be praying for them and for our political leaders as they provide direction, as well as people who've been directly affected by this virus. And wash your hands, eat your broccoli, stay well, and if you buy toilet paper anytime soon, uh, please leave some for me. If you have any questions, feel free to call the church office during our operating hours during the week, 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. And I want to conclude with some very important words from Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 to 7. Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 to 7. And there the Apostle Paul reminds us, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I will say, rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all people. The Lord is near. Be anxious for nothing. But in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So God bless you, and I look forward to meeting you in person again, and uh, being together up close and personal as soon as we're able. Thank you so much.